cheap golf balls can you actually play golf with them because there's a lot of opinions saying oh don't bother and others saying well do you know what i'll play with whatever i find and whatever's the cheapest so i've bought some uh, slazinger v100 golf balls off amazon 11 pounds 95 these were so pretty much 99p a golf ball. We're gonna put them through their paces out here on the golf course at Warrington Golf Course, see what they're like. I'm gonna play a few holes and then stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna actually see what they uh, stack up like on the launch monitor and see whether 99p a golf ball, is it worth it? Let's get stuck into the video. Okay, so we've done our initial testing there. First thoughts um, actually surprised me. They were they were okay. They weren't as clicky or metally as I thought they were going to feel. They didn't feel too tinny at all actually when I was chipping and putting with those, which is quite surprising. Like you know, everything on the box is saying titanium distance, titanium this and that was what I feared a little bit. I did notice when chipping and pitching though, they did run on quite a bit, which again, the box isn't saying that it is a ball that when you hit a pitch and it's gonna bite, check, spin, it's designed for a little bit more distance and um, to be a cheap golf ball that has got a little bit more wear and tear on it. So we should see that, you know, it's not gonna get cut up after one or two wedges. So nothing that, you know, wouldn't shock you if you read what was on the box there. I'm gonna play a couple of holes now and see how they perform actually when playing with them in real play. And then we're gonna head onto the tee and get a little bit of a, a number with the driver with them as well and see how they stack up against a, a premium golf ball. I'll tell you what, if they perform like that, that was munched, absolutely munched. Didn't feel too hard as well. I was expecting that to feel like an absolute pebble, but a few holes, let's find out. Not a bad drive to be fair, only 60 from the green, so who knows? Let's keep playing. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Didn't feel too bad. Mm, the V100. Bold. They don't stop as quickly as a normal ball, I know that. Oh. Okay, so a few holes played there with them. My thoughts from the pitching and chipping on the initial testing, that carried on into playing those few holes there. I did see that those wedges that are hitting hit them really crisp but they did tend to run on a little bit distance with the driver that whole shot of 14 went miles that's one of the longest i've hit down there in ages and again irons wise it didn't feel too titanium -y, too metally tinny however you want to describe it off the face so at the moment stacking up to be a pretty decent golf ball we're going to get it on the uh, gc2 now and see how it stacks up against my average numbers for a pro v1 and then give you my thoughts on whether cheap golf balls should we play with them let's find out now so it's time to test it on the launch monitor we're going to use foresight gc2 we're going to hit five golf balls i've got my numbers here that you can see for the pro v1s so a 285 average carry 2020 revs of spin as my average 
it says titanium distance. Will this stack up there? We are seeing that distance as well from this. We already know, and like I expected, it's not gonna be the best around the greens. It's gonna have that release. It doesn't feel too tinny though, which is a great thing, I think, for these golf balls. But is it gonna stack up to that titanium distance claim? Five golf balls, let's go. That is awful. Do eight see again. Okay, so that's five golf balls done. Average distance, remarkably close, 281 yards. The spin was a little bit here and there. I did catch a few. There was one, uh, I think the second golf ball that dropped dramatically, 249, I think it went. Um, but the spin was a little bit here and there and it's resulted that it's come out at 2,500. So actually spinning a little bit more than I would see with my Pro V1 as normal. But, you know, overall cheap golf balls, can we play with them? The answer is yes. It's a pounder golf ball. If you're not precious about what they are performing like round the greens, I think that's the big caveat you've got to take away from it. They're not going to be fantastic round the greens. They do run on argument you know are you in control of the golf ball that much when you're starting out or if you're using that but if you're looking for a ball that you're still going to get a bit of feel around the greens but you want to save money they're probably not the ones for you so it's, it's that it's that trade-off that you've got to go for but do you know what for 99p a golf ball you can play golf with them i think they were not too bad to be fair guys thanks for watching see you in the next video